All right, Shalom, brothers. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahak, Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. This is your brother Yahweh Allah from GMS Chicago coming at you with another lesson. And in this video, I want to go into the point of, you know, this truth, this ministry not being for the purpose of getting a uh, vain uh, glory to be seen of men, you know, but it's, you know, for the sake of, uh, you know, edifying yourself, you know, uh, uh, and those that hear you, you know, to bring you closer unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to ultimately, you know, receive salvation and be saved from this place, man. Because the Lord says he, uh, the Lord that he loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. All right. So this thing, you know, is so that we can get built up, you know, uh, to get right in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to get delivered, man. Not, you know, to be seen of men, you know, to be worrying about, you know, how many views you got, you know, just so you can have a, a vain glory on this side. No, man. You know, this thing is about pushing forward the truth and pushing out the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, I'm going to start here in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 26. It says, How is it then, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you have a psalm, have a doctrine, have a tongue, have a revelation, have an interpretation? It says, Let all things be done unto edifying, man. You know, and that was something that, you know, um, you know, we were speaking with, with uh, some of the brothers, you know, that, you know, when we're in, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, when we're out here, when we're out preaching, you know, it's, it's, oftentimes like it can, it'll happen where, you know, it's just the main elder, like the uh, main older brother speaking. But if you got something edifying to say, you know, uh, uh, you know, don't hold it back, man. It says, uh, you know, like we just read, it says, do all things unto edifying. All right. And even in Sirach, it tells you, you know, when something, you know, uh, um, I'm, roughly paraphrasing but it says that the first one let the first one hold his peace man you know and and then um you know uh, uh um let, let the man who you know something was revealed to them let him speak you know but the point is is unto edifying you know not just speaking to speak like the like the old proverb says a fool speaks you know just because he uh he has to say something but a wise man speaks because he has some something to say, all right, something edifying, versus just speaking to speak, man. You know, so uh, uh, that's just a side point, though. Like, um, you know, uh, um, as far as it goes to, you know, uh, as far as you know, speaking in a group, you know, goes, man. You know, uh, uh, um, you know, seeing, you know, reading the time for your for uh, for your chance, you know. More so the younger brothers, because the script, scriptures do say, you know, um, you know, uh, 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 to to keep your speech short when you're amongst great men. All right, but yeah, that's a side point. You know, uh, um, you could, you know, uh, uh, speak if, um, you know, uh, um, if if the spirit allows it, you know, and it's something edifying, something pertaining to the to uh, topic, not a season, a tale told out of season. All right, that doesn't even match with the with the topic and whatnot. All right, but you know, continuing on here. All right, uh, um, you know, this ministry of ours, man, it's it's for the sake of uh, you know seeking Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And the way we do that is by getting right in His eyes, man. You know, and so when we're doing these videos, man, we gotta you know do it. In the mindset of edifying, you know, uh, the brethren, man, edifying the body. All right. This is the book of Galatians chapter five and verse 26. All right. It says, so like, give me a second, brother. It says, let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another, man. All right. So we didn't, we're not supposed to desire vain glory on this side man just to be seen of men just so you know people can, can look up to you and all that man you know at the end of the day man 
we're we're pushing forward the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, the kingdom of heaven is within us, man. We have that small example of what the kingdom is gonna be like, man. So, you know, that's what we're pushing forth, man. You know, uh, uh, the vibration of the Lord, man, and not our own, uh, uh, um, you know, pleasures, man, our, our own desires. All right. This is a uh, Philippians one and fifteen. It says. Some indeed preach Hamashiach even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. All right, so you're going to have certain teachers that, that teach because of envy. You know, they want to be the, the top guy, you know, and of strife, man. Just because, you know, just, you know, they see us out there, you know, uh, uh, cursing out Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, you know, and, and they just want, you know, out there just to be uh, on a contentious spirit, man. All right. And the scripture says, uh, 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 contention, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 where his pride cometh contention, man. All right. So that whole contentious spirit, like fighting really comes from pride, man. All right. But some also of a good will and that, and the good will is that, you know, we push forward the vibration of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai so that the elect can be sealed and we can get delivered out this hell hole, man. All right, that's the that's the name of the game, man. That we edify the elect, man, so we can get delivered out this hellhole, man. All right, verse sixteen it says, "The one preach Hamashiach of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel, man." All right, and, and, and that's what it is, man. You know, we gotta defend this truth, man. All right, here it is. The world is 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 doing its part to to belittle the Lord, His doctrine, and and, and what He's all about. Hey, Amen. We gotta be out here, you know, uh, uh, fighting against that man. It says, uh, uh, you know, that's who, uh, you know, our weapons of warfare are not carnal, man, but mighty, you know, uh, uh, um, but mighty uh, uh, through the breaking down of strongholds, man. You know, we gotta break down these strongholds that are on our people man you know these lies that are on our people and and, and showing them the true and white right way which is of yahweh bashem yahweh shai all right that's the name of the game man it's to edify man okay as the book of matthew chapter 23 and verse 5 it says but all their works they do talking about the wicked pharisees it says but uh, uh but all they all their works they do to be seen of men they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments and love the utmost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets and to be called of men, rabbi, rabbi, man. So this is an example of the spirit not to be in, man. All right. You know, making, um, you know, the borders of the garments, you know, larger just so, you know, they could be seen of men. You know, they don't do it, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, they don't follow the law, of, you know, uh, the the Lord for the benefit that the Lord, you know, uh, 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 left, left it there for us. But just so they can say, like, look, you know, I'm I'm doing what's right just to be able to say that, you know, to be seen a man. That's <laughs> that's that's that wasn't the intention, you know, uh, uh, of the Lord, man. He. You know, he, he teaches us to for, for our benefit, man. All right. And to be sincere towards him to showing, you know, that, that we want to see uh, follow after his will, man. All right. Not just to be seen, man. You know, that's the main motive for these, for, for, for these wicked uh, teachers, man. All right. And they love the utmost rooms. All right. Let me let, let me jump around in this chapter because this whole chapter goes into, you know, wicked you know, uh, the weak, the wicked Pharisees, man. All right. Um, yeah, verse 11. I'm going to start at 10, actually. It says, Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Hamashiach. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whomsoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. That's right. You got to be in that humble spirit, you know, ready to teach man because it says 
he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. So, you know, the really the, the ones that are going to be great in the kingdom of heaven are those that, you know, have put their life aside, humbled themselves, you know, uh, uh, um, to push forth the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because in, in reality, that's a that's a, a service that you're doing for the elect, man. Okay? You're, you're serving the church of the Heavenly Father, man, which consists of the elect. All right, you you have become a, a, a servant, you know, in ministering uh, uh, the word of the Lord, man. All right, and that's who's gonna be greatest, man. That's who, you know, who who, who gave you know uh, 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 the servant that that was giving out you know the understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, man, through His word, through His precepts, man. Okay, that's who you know. That's who's gonna be exalted in that day, man. Not trying to seek His own, man. You know, trying to get his uh, 15 minutes of, of, of fame, man. All right. It, th this this word is not about that, man. It's about pushing forth the, you know, uh, 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 the vibration, the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to ultimately, you know, uh, uh, obtain mercy uh, in this coming destruction, you know, that, that we know is on its way, man. All right. I'm, I'm going to keep going. Uh, I'm going to jump to verse 20. Three, it says, "Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, man. And that's all to be seen of men. You know, they'll give the, 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 the precious, precious uh, spices and everything, just so they can, you know, be seen of people. Like, oh, look at what he's leaving. You know, this is the same thing that they do in the Catholic and Christian churches, man. As soon as you you pass a certain level of money that you give." Uh, uh, to the box for uh, uh, you know, as you, as your money that you give to the to the quote unquote church, right? Uh, the envelope, the cov the color changes, man. So now you got a blue envelope for over a hundred dollars, you know, and and the, the people uh, there's people out there that give in that spirit, like oh I'm gonna I'm gonna give the blue envelope today, you know, like just for that for, for that reason alone, man, to be seen of men. All right, but it says, uh, but um, omit the weightier matters of the law, which is judgment, mercy, and faith. These are ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone, man. All right, so these are the the important things: judgment, faith, uh, mercy, and faith, man. You know we, you know we give out the judgment of the Lord, man. You know right now we're rehearsing the righteous acts. All right, but ultimately. Those that have uh, fully given themselves to sin, which is transgression of the law, according to 1 John 3 and 4, all right, they're going to receive a destruction when the Lord comes back, man. All right, mercy for those who, you know, are, are, are sincerely striving to seek after Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, we know that, that we're in these corruptible bodies, man. You know, we're going to uh, uh, mess up at times, but a just man get us up again, man. And, and you know, and, and uh, we got to be able to give mercy you know, if we uh, expect to receive mercy, man. All right. And faith, man. You know, uh, uh, having in our mind that if we do the things that Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, has required of us, you know, that he's going to deliver us, man. That he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right. These are, are the weightier matters, man. Not to be seen of men. All right. Verse 24 says, ye blind guides with strain at a net and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess, man. All right. Thou blind Pharisees, clean first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also, man. So you got to clean the inside. You know, the, the scripture says in Romans that, uh, that, a, that a man is a Jew inwardly, man. So you got to be sincere about uh, this walk within yourself, like you're being for real, man. You know, with yourself, with the Lord, that that you want to seek His His righteousness, man. That we may get delivered. All right. No matter what anybody has to say about you or nothing, man. You know, at the end of the day, all we got to care about is what the Lord thinks of us, man. You know, and ultimately, if we following the right path, you know. Uh, 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 you know, if you're being sincere 
and doing what the what the Lord had prescribed for us, then you know the elect is gonna be on the same vibration, man. So ultimately, you you uh, you're gonna vibe amongst brethren, man, because all you guys are have your eyes single at the prize, man, seeking Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, seeking His righteousness, so we can obtain His mercy, man. All right, I'm gonna keep going. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and 13. It says, "Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do honor me." But have removed their heart far from me. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. All right. And that's what we got to get away from, man. You know, you know, uh, um, you know, being uh, sincere with the Lord and, and seeking his precepts, man, his commandments that are written in the Bible, man. Not, you know, seeking uh, uh, to please uh, 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 men. Uh, uh, you know, uh, these, these false teachers, man, you know, like, like these, uh, like right here, you know, they, they started teaching precepts of men, you know, teaching their own will, which we gotta get, get uh, we can't, you know, uh, uh, indulge in that. I, mean, I won't say indulge. We can't t take part in that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, we got, we, we got to push the, the true, uh, uh, the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, not our own. All right. You know, same thing, you know, w with these followers, man, that they're, they're not truly seeking after after the Lord, man, you know, but, you know, th their own belly, you know, whatever their intentions are, man, you know, but they're not seeking the will of the Lord. And at the end of the day, you know, that's what we got to follow, man. You know, that's what it's all about, you know, not a, our own vain glory, you know, not our own belly. All right. Not not to, you know. Uh, uh, of envy and strife, man. Okay, I'm gonna end that off here in this last precept. This is Romans chapter three, and verse three. It says, "For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect?" It says, "God forbid." Yeah, let God be true, and every man a liar, man. All right. So, you know, hey, the word of the Lord is perfect, man. You don't need to, you know, add to it. Or take anything away, man. You know, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of it, man. The elect, you know, is going to think good of it. <laughs> and that's all that matters, man. You know, you know, the Lord had deemed that, that these commandments and these precepts are correct and right and just, man. And that's all that matters, man. You know, you don't got to, you know, uh, uh, trim your way to seek love. You know, you don't got to do all these gimmicks, man. It's all about the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. Let the Lord be true. Bring forth his word and, and, and everything else, man, you know, is going to be end up to be found as lies, man. It says, as it, as it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged, man. You know, and when we follow after the example of the Lord, when we follow his scriptures, and his commandment, man, that's what we're going to find, man, is that, you know, we're going to be justified through these sayings, man, you know, through these doings, because, hey, the, the, the word of the Lord is perfect, man, you know, like I said, it doesn't need to, nothing needs to be added to it or taken away, okay, you know, two-third people might look at you sideways, but that doesn't matter, man, all right, at the end of the day, all this is for the exaltation of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, I'll leave you guys. You know, Lord willing, this video was edifying. Uh, I'm gonna end uh, like always by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakahakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, who are the leaders of all Yasharala uh, today. If if you can receive it, all right. And Shalom also to the brothers that are also pushing forth this word in truth and in sincerity. And uh, the few, and Shalom also too to the few sisters that are listening and learning humbly in the cut. All right. And to the next one, brothers, Anakiam, Zaquanim. Um, um, I say Shalom. And like always, Abad Babal. And don't take that microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Shalom.